Africa is currently looking to grow between one and a half and two and a half percent, depending on which numbers you believe, whereas the developed world is declining by that same amount. So that's really where I come from when I say in relative terms Africa should be more of an emerging market than what it was last year. Historically, one of the factors which has really restricted Africa's integration into the global economy has been the lack of connection. That has changed dramatically. Um, starting uh, actually several weeks ago and through the next 18 months, we'll see uh, orders of magnitude increases in the connection to the rest of the world through undersea cables being added, etc. We also see the completion of the fiber rings within up to 40 of the countries within Africa. And it's by connecting and ultimately by educating that we will see Africa fully integrate. The crisis is definitely impacting Africa. Um, as you can see from the official numbers, uh, growth rates are dropping to about 3%. Uh, the reality though is that Africa will still be the third largest growing region in the world um, after China and India. So there's still growth in Africa and that's primarily because many of the regions of the world are declining. So there's a positive message around it is affecting Africa, but we're still going to be the, the third largest growth region in the world. We'd like to see applications, that solutions that come out of this, so that we're not just carrying information, but we're carrying actual practical solutions. For example, what is this going to do to our health programs in the country? Are we able to, to use these ICTs? Are we able to use the broadband that comes with our fiber optic cables to solve problems of health, to solve problems of poverty, to solve problems of education and learning? Are we able to do that in order to be able to tell the farmer, for example, in Kenya, that this year, uh, this is the kind of trend he expects, uh, having studied trends from everywhere, anywhere else, so that the farmer in Kenya, for example, which is a backbone of our economy right now, can begin to farm intelligently. What about a student who cannot actually go to a university directly? Can he benefit? What about a rural areas where we have no doctors, for example? Are we able to, to use ICTs to solve those problems? And so these are practical things that I hope to gain, that the country that hopes to gain, and the continent of Africa hopes to gain. Well, I think there are a number of good things that are happening uh, with the crisis, right? One is a big focus now on diversifying the economies. I always say, you know, when oil prices are $140, you can talk about diversifying, but you don't really need to do so. Now with the crisis, it's a much bigger push. And you see a lot, more, a lot of governments now talk about how to really increase the inter internally generated revenues, how to really increase tax collection, how to increase customs, uh, uh, interesting products and services to offer out there. Today, I think one of the things is it's bringing people together, not with the sense of, oh my gosh, there's a problem, but to say, here is an economic outlook. What are the concrete things we can do? And let's see how we can move and make concrete steps towards development in Africa.